All right then. So do you have your boarding pass, your ticket, and next of kin? The zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. According to the FAA, it seems that pilots these days are too reliant on automation. So when an emergency does occur, they are temporarily paralyzed and forget how to fly a plane. This is what I mean. This is your captain speaking. We are currently at a brisk altitude of 32,000 feet. We should be arriving in Tokyo in the next 45 minutes, so sit back and relax. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain again. It seems that I made a slight error in when we'll be arriving in Tokyo. It seems we should be arriving earlier than expected. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that myself and the crew have somehow forgot to fly the plane, but I can assure you all, there is no reason to panic whatsoever. Flight attendants, prepare for arrival. So it seems with airline pilots' addiction to always wanting to be on automatic pilot, it renders their skills to how to be an actual pilot almost useless. So as I said, when problems do occur and they lose control of automatic pilot and they themselves have to get there in the sea and control the plane, they entail lose the skill to fly a plane which is reason why in the last five years there have been more airline accidents due to pilot error than there has been in quite some time. So not only do you have to worry about arriving early and going through security scans and of course the risk of terrorism in the sky but now you have to be sure that is your pilot capable enough to actually fly a plane. Could the airport and airplane series come true? Can a flight attendant land the plane as well as a passenger? Are the skies as safe as we think they are? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna stick to the ground.